you tend to stray away from God's words. Then when you tend to stray, you tend to forget, you tend not to worship, and you tend to do things of the world, and you forget about God. And then when that happens, you wonder, why is all this bad luck happening to us? Okay, we haven't been working together for a while. We've been doing separate things. So when I asked Mrs. Sula, I said, oh, well, like, you know, Iki, right? She said, yeah. I said, no, what is the theme? And she said, oh, no, we're good, we could handle. So I went home, I told my husband, you call your sister, you tell her like the team for the whole weekend. So he did. When we grew up, we were taught, it was not a tradition, but we were taught to worship God morning, noon, and night. Pray for your food, morning, noon, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Okay? So, when we came here this morning, not really, where we do whole our Sunday school classes, my family knows no books. Where we say no books. It's not, we're not trying to show off, I'm not trying to show off how smart they are, but the way I look at it is when you don't use books, then it shows me your study. But this morning we can use books, sorry. So that means we never start. So anyway, uh, we thank God for bringing us here safely. Um, we were, my husband and I wasn't here for our um, the worship, we woke up late. <laughs> and I was like, that's okay, Jenna, we can handle. <laughs> so, good thing I get these guys, because I know they're going to be here. So anyway, we thank you a lot for inviting us to your Ho'ike. Our Ho'ike is next month, the second sun Saturday of October. Normally I bring the invitation with me, but I haven't, so I'll be mailing it out or emailing people for that. Because I our week is after the Sunday school meeting. The Sunday school meeting is the week October before day. and our week is the week right after. Oh. And if you don't know it by now too, Helani has a week November third. Mm -hmm. That's the church in Kona. Kahuma Cumbers Church. Um, if you want to sing with us and you're welcome to um, can you turn to page one twelve and you're not here meaning all verses but you can see this concrete first. Matthew 7, 7, As and it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened. Isaiah 65, 6, Seek ye the Lord, for he may fall, fall upon him, and he is done. Matthew 22, verse 37, Thou shalt love thy God with all thy heart, and with all, and with all thy soul, and with all thy heart. It's, um, you can find it in your book, it's page 112, and we're going to see all verses.
morning, everyone. Oh, good morning. Uh, my name is Kahu Wayne, and I'm also uh, the other Kahu from uh, Pohapukumba. Uh, I, I, I just wanted to read you from Colossians this morning, also of his fulfillment of our Lord. And it's in terms of the, the supremacy of, of Christ. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Him all things were created, things in heaven and thing, things on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. And He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among, among the dead, so that in everything He might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all His fullness dwell in Him and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. May the Lord bless you. Oh. 